Hey, welcome back to Marriage Beyond the Veil. And I'm Gail. This is I'm Fred. Fred, and we're celebrating our 32nd wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Well, um, today I was on Facebook, and oddly enough, someone posted, um, what's your favorite love movie? Well, and a movie that uh, I know a lot of people probably don't think of when you think love movie, uh, but truly is an attestament is an, a testament to love that endures is a beautiful mind. Mm. Um, beautiful mm. mind uh, is about John Nash Jr., who was a brilliant mathematician. He wound up winning a Nobel Prize uh, for economics. But uh, in this movie, it charts how his life went from you know the heights of notoriety to the depths of depravity because he was uh, schizophrenic. schizophrenic. Yeah. And, uh, but through it all, you know, through all of the challenges, through his most chaotic madness, his wife, mm -hmm. my goodness, his wife was there through it all. And, 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 you know, there were times when, uh, with their child being young, yeah. where his yeah, condition, <laughs> yeah, his condition, yeah. you know, even threatened the health and the well being of the child. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you look at the love that endured, yeah. And in 94, when he received that Nobel Prize and uh, the speech he made speaking to yes. the love. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what love does. I mean, when you when you talk about making this vow for better or for worse, mm -hmm. sickness and health till death do us part. And you really, really, really hold true to the vow that you take one with another in, in before God. Um, that's what love is and that's what love does. Yeah, it is. And you know, um, especially in this year after COVID and so many people have gone through so many things and so many people are dealing with mental illness mm -hmm. and even people who never had depression. I mean, we were, Gayla and I were talking about it yesterday, which we call the COVID PTSD, you know, and so many other things that people have had to deal with. This really, that movie really does speak to what a true marriage is. Um, you know, because things come, things go unexpectedly. I mean, she right. married this man and, and I mean, no one knew. I mean, you know, right. his, he was undiagnosed, you know, but instead of saying, you know, okay, you got to go and walking away from it, she stuck it out. You know, she had to leave sometimes and, and try and, and he had to go in and get some help, but you know, she still stuck by him as long as she could. Um, uh, what's going to say, but that's the thing when you connect with someone that you love and you make this commitment to be on the journey together for life mm -hmm. you don't know what life will hand you you don't. you don't know how things will unfold and you know you can have your own idea of what it will be mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but be ready to have uh, the world laugh in your face mm -hmm. at your plans and your dreams and everything else uh, but being able to navigate it together mm -hmm. and endure it and overcome and not succumb to whatever it is that you deal with as a couple, as a family. Mm -hmm. And so... When well, I, you know what I thought about, what? too, was um, Fences. Mm, okay. And Viola Davis delivers that line. Mm. She said, you know, he's talking about all he's been through. And, and she, she said, says, I've been, been through it with you. That's right. I've That's what right. it's all about. And it is. And so make no mistake, no matter what one goes through, each of you go through. Yeah. Uh, whether it's happening directly or indirectly, it impacts you both. Yeah. Uh, but I thank God for the 32 years that I have been able to share with this lovely woman. <laughs> and uh, I just can't imagine um, my life without you. I really can't. Okay. And so hopefully and prayerfully we'll be able to have another 32 years. Like mom and dad. And then some. <laughs> yeah. So until the next time, if the Lord says the same. And I'll just be 64. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Have a good one. <laughs>